All right, caught 4,000 implings, or implings? Chinchampas. I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing those. Just see how far it gets me. Hmm. Well, just eating, but uh, suddenly became a dragon hour, so we're gonna go ahead and capitalize on that. I want tokens. Alright, good morning to you all, ladies and gentlemen. We just got a, a little update. As you can see, the next spotlight has been turned on, but it came with a few interesting changes, to say the least. Quite a few noteworthy ones, so let's go over it really quick. Obviously not gonna be a separate update post, but just really wanna cover it real quick. Uh, the next spotlight for the Winter 2022 event has been released. Next has seasonal recolor and uncommon and rare holiday drops. During the event, next will also be available to all players without the Elite God Wars Dungeon requirements, so you can just kill it right away as long as the event is going. Fix the bug with snowmen. Uncommon and common were swapped. This is done way too late, let's be real. <laughs> At this point, most people have already farmed tons of chests. There is a few crazy ones out there. You already know who you are. But there's already so many that have farmed this at this point that you may as well have left it in my opinion, but I guess, you know, change is a change. Uh, made optimizations to the server in effort to reduce, uh, reduce recent lag spikes. We still have more optimizations planned, but we wanted to get this patch out by tonight. Yeah, the lag has been pretty consistent lately, probably due to one of the previous updates, whether it's the prestige one or the event one, probably something that caused that <coughs> in the update code. And obviously, optimizations are made for that, which is lovely. Fix the bug with the restoration accessory. We're not going to talk about that one. <laughs> I embarrassed myself on stream with this one. Wow, I totally misunderstood how this worked. Uh, fix the bug with Lava Dragon Bone tasks. They weren't working. Fix the bug with Garnet of Entrapment and Diamond of Soul Steel no longer working. Fix the bug where 200 mil skill capes were usable. Add a PvP max hit cap of 30 to Sanguinesti spell. Improved F3s in PvP to feel better, improved various easy, medium achievement rewards, added new sprites and icons to various content, changed TP history interface GUI, reduced Slayer Task daily amount from 75 to 25, that's a really nice one, should make it significantly quicker to do. Double drop message has been formatted, curious to see what that looks like. Reduced Infernal Halo Boost from 2.5 to 2%, nice little nerve right there. Increased Karazi Blessing Boost from 1% to 2%, nice little buff right there, I don't know how useful it is. See, the problem with the Karazi Blessing, in my opinion, is the fact that Karazi is ranged gear, and almost every single equipment of ranged gear requires, you know it, fucking ammo. So, like, almost every, like, proper good ranged weapon is already unusable with the Karasi Blessing. That's kind of the unfortunate part here. Otherwise, I would be really interested in trying it out. But the most you can do is either a Zerite Bow or a Scorpio Blowpipe, right? Everything else, Zerite Crossbow, Chasm Bow, everything requires arrows or bolts or something. A few collection log buffs hit real quick here. Uh, the collection Halo 1 new effect increases damage and accuracy by 1.5%. For each collection item equipped. Collection Halo 2 new effect increases damage and accuracy by 2.5% for each collection item equipped. I don't know which of the collection items count towards that, but something interesting to play around with perhaps. Golden and Curse Shoulder Monkey renamed to Collection Shoulder Monkey 1 and 2. No changes to that one, but in my opinion the more expensive one, which if I'm not mistaken is the Curse Shoulder, in my opinion the Curse Shoulder should kind of work like a runex cape where you can copy the stats of an existing cape that you own except it doesn't give bonus drop rate like the runex cape works something like that i feel like that would be fair that way you could use the curse shoulder monkey without losing out massively on stats i think that would be lovely curse void increased damage and will pvm by five percent per piece lovely why not collection sword combat level thresholds increased by 100 same with oh no collection sword new effect double runex points earned from kills and a new crossbows are added, same effects as the swords. Interesting. Uh, I don't know the, all the combat levels and how good they are from the top of my head, but maybe some use. Tarazi changes, okay, this is interesting. Added a huge casket to the trading stick exchange for 5k sticks. A little expensive, but definitely nice for Iron Man we, who are just, you know, drowning in sticks perhaps. Added three new chest locations to the Karazi, added more NPC spawns to the Karazi main island dungeon, added more NPC spawns in the Karazi demon island dungeon, Jesus, tongue twisters bro, Redu reduced NPC respawn time from 5 minutes to 2.30, I'm guessing NPC respawn time, well maybe it's everything, but maybe it's just specific jungle demon, I wouldn't know. Changed the tribal merchant trading stick exchange into a shop and added more items, added skill cape shop to tribal merchant, Skill cape shop, oh, 
interesting. Karazi Mask now deals plus 15% damage inside Karazi Jungle. Very worth grinding then. It doesn't say in PVM either, so I'm guessing against anyone. Uh, Runex point cap changed. Cap of 35 grows by plus 1 for every 10% points are boosted. Example, 200% boost from a collection sword gives plus 10 point cap for a maximum of 45 points from a PVM kill. Example 2, 200% boost from a collection sword and 200% from donor, donor zone gives plus 20 point cap for a maximum of 55 points from a PVM kill. Plus 1 for every 10%. 200% boost gives plus 10. Am I tripping? Is 10% of 200% not 2? Or 20 even? Plus 1 for every 10% are boosted. You have a 200% boost, so that's a plus 20 cap, isn't it? I feel like there's a typo in the first one. And I'm not entirely sure what this means. Uh, whatever, it's increased. Reduced Elite Barrel Teleport common amount from 5 to 3 and Elite Barrel Teleport rare amount from 25 to 10. Not a huge fan of this, I'm not entirely sure why they did that. They are so painful to get, it takes for fucking ever. They are already incredibly uncommon. And now you can't, don't even have that 25 drop to look forward that can really compensate for a big dry streak. Personally not a huge fan, not to bash them or anything, I just didn't feel necessary. At all, it was already stupidly rare. It took me hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to get like a few scrolls to run. Like it's, <laughs> and that is from coming from someone who basically one hits the Barrow Brothers. I, I can understand why there are too many in the total game, but I don't think one person is the cause of that. It's just, yeah, okay. Well, we'll live with it. Added three times bag of riches to Barrow's common rewards and increased bag of riches amounts from elite Barrow commons from five to ten. Okay, that's cool. So overall, some very nice changes. I'm not gonna lie, I was secretly kind of hoping that maybe they would surprise us with a superior next, because that is something Nate talked about in the past, but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be the case. We're gonna go ahead and hop in game and have a look at what has been added and or changed. All right, here we are in game, getting prepared to do some next, but I do wanna quickly check out the collection log store right here. Oh. Wow, those look like blue right crossbows. <laughs> That's interesting. This crossbow deals extra damage to monsters 600 or lower. Also gives two times runex point for 500 points. And the sword four is also 500, does the exact same thing, except now you have a range and a melee option. Interesting, I'm not sure how useful those are. I've never used them before in my life. But if you guys really want me to, I wouldn't mind giving it a try. Um, now the new monkeys. Same stats as Golden Shoulder Monkey, also gives 5% drop rate, boost while equipped. Yeah, it's very mediocre stats, it's, it's like a mythic cape, except you really have to work for it. Uh, combined stats of Tokhar Kal, Ava's Accumulator T and Immune God Capes, yeah. yeah and it's not bad, but it's not great. Uh, I would have to wonder if Cursed Void counts as an item for these thingies. I'm not sure how good they are though. I don't know if there's enough collection log items to really make it work. Uh, most importantly though, the new next drop table. Well, new, 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 big word, but there's a few new items, right? Night mystery box, night winter mystery box, one in 50, and a vintage casket is now one in a thousand. And if I'm not mistaken, you also get a few tokens per kill, is what I've seen, but that might have been for my bossing hour. I do not know. I do, however, know we're gonna go ahead and kill it a few. Let's have a look at Nexi. I was gonna go ahead and use up the tokens we have because I'm super low on drop rate scrolls and there's nine in the chest. I would like to get a few. Oh, I got the pet. Wow, okay. That is an early pet for a change. Very nice. We can go ahead and uh, see if this is the lucky one. <laughs> Probably not. I'm never lucky. Oh, we got three drop rate boost scrolls if nothing else, which is really, really nice. And I guess we'll go ahead and grab a little dusty dust for the pet. Can we get it on our third try, or at least proc the little dust? That would be a nice one. Everyone has gotten it so early, please let me be the next. <sighs> Alright, just quickly bought a few more Divine Shots, I was like 6 off from getting 200 total. Which should be enough to get a, a few more God Wars Dungeon Scrolls, let's see how this ends up paying out. Decent start. Oh, we have a really good rate to be honest, 23 out of 41. That's over 50%! Keep 
keep going, keep going. One more. No, come on, one more. Yeah, beautiful. 20 is a beautiful rounded up number. Let's get into some necks. And there we have it, guys. The icy necks, winter necks, whatever you want to call it. Looking slightly different from usual. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Nice little uh, addition, if you ask me. Wrong prayer right off the bat. Honestly, all with all, not much has changed. We're just gonna be hunting, you know, additional drops. It's not even like I'm gonna be hunting them, the vintage casket or the M-Box or anything. It's just, you know, I would like to get a few along the way as we grind this boss. I plan to do um, some longer streams today, very soon, but I do have to run to the store in a little bit first and get something to eat before I go live and all of that. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Seems like a lot of people are killing the boss right off the bat, so that is a uh, a very good sign. All right, just got back from the store, got all prepared and ready to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into next for real. Fully elixir up, infernal wanderer, God Wars dungeon boo scroll, elixir of fortune. Of course, we have the soothsayer falcon, mythic cape. So we're losing out on five percent drop rate compared to like quote unquote normally. Okay, if I were to have the uh, elite comp. But that will come once we're maxed again. So all with all, not too shabby. Not too much of a loss. Good luck. Oh! Oh! What bonk actually got the fucking Thor of a Helm on that? Plus a Nihil Horn for easy. Holy shit, boys. Holy fuck, we were just talking about it. That is insane. Ah, he just said log and we were talking about it. He was hoping for a Helm this kill. And then he actually pulled it. But you can't see the conversation anymore. That is unfortunate. But that's so sick, though. Congrats to Bunk, damn. Back to back. Oh wow, back to back Torva Helms. Oh wow. Okay, okay, I see. The holy with a Torva Helm. Nuke with a little scroll. Damn, next popping out some loot now. Alright, are we gonna see back to back to back drops? No, unfortunately not. I got number seven? What? That was awful. Good luck. Oh, oh I got a pet box. Ah, we both got a drop and we both <laughs> Yeah. We got juked the fuck out on that one. Alright, good luck, another one. Any Torfas? Oh shit, actually. Next pet for Bunk again. <laughs> That's his how many if? And strange thing with a Torfa plate. I see. Good luck, another one. Another pet mystery box in my name. God damn. Ignore Ty in the background, he's uh, extra. Damn, not too shabby. I can also buy three more pet boxes with my CM points at this point, but. No price keys. Go oh, by the time both blink. Hella loot. We even got some fan braces by the end. Some good shit. Oh, well, we got an eye horn in my name. Ha! <laughs> Speak of the devil. Talking about loot. Wait, I got 900 uh, Nightwinter tokens from that one kill. I got almost 1,000 tokens per kill. What the fuck? Alright, let's see what he gets. And in the background, you can uh, see some dwarf of plate legs on the floor. Oh my god, what? <laughs> hey, yo! It's so unfortunate that wasn't for one of us, but I called that perfectly. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Fucking Brunson. <laughs> I, I just felt it coming, you know? Oh, recipes won. Wait. I got a mystery box. Oh, I was like, I, I feel like I'm seeing more drops on the floor there. It was the Night Winter mystery box. Nice. Yep. All right, good luck, boys. Next kill incoming here. What? Oh my. Oh, Tanya Hilt! Yes, let's go! Hey, we fucking take those, bro. That's a W. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a really good one. Let's go! Alright, just finished a nice little three hour next stream. Got some okay drops, nothing too crazy, few bad boxes, one cut or scroll. Uh, most importantly, Ty got a hilt in his name, which is very nice. Absolutely love getting those, because it will help us with uh, elite God Wars components. And I got a little Nihil Horn, my 10th one. Not too shabby. If only we didn't rune coin all of the uh, hilts in the past. But we didn't know, we didn't know it was gonna be useful later. Oh well, so be it. But um, yeah, that is about it. We're gonna be doing another three hours in the evening after dinner, but I got a, like 20 minutes remaining on my elixirs. 
So we're gonna use those up first, and then I'll grab something to eat, etc. And then do another three hours. And hopefully we can see some, well, preferably better loot in that time. A few Torfa pieces would be lovely. Oh my god. I got a little uh, God Wars dungeon scroll on that kill. Didn't actually record, but oh well. Too bad. Nice little bonus drop, but obviously we're gonna use those anyway. Next. Ooh, a horn for uh, someone, and I got a little box. Not too bad. I'll take that and grats on the guy on a 28 KC horn. That is uh, nice and early. Alright, another kill for nothing, so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to make some dinner now. And then we'll do another 3 hours afterwards. Maybe I'll do a bit in between, but depends on how long I take. 